you're thinking about moving to Morgan Hill in 2023 or you're a resident already, you definitely want to watch this video. We're going to dive into all things Morgan Hill, California, what there is to come and what to expect in this coming year. If we haven't met before, my name is Kristen Nielsen with Real Broker and welcome to my channel. So if you're not too familiar with Morgan Hill, you might be wondering where the heck it's located. So Morgan Hill is about 15 minutes south of the southern point of San Jose, California. It is part of Santa Clara County and Silicon Valley and is still deemed one of the most affordable cities within Silicon Valley. Now let's dive right into the top five things that you should know in 2023. First things first, let's talk about population. So Morgan Hill in 2022 has just about 45,000 people and that's a 21% increase over 2010 numbers, which were at right around 37,000 people. The biggest reasons for this growth is definitely the affordability compared to other cities surrounding it. And it's also, of course, in proximity to some major, major tech campuses that are in other areas to our north. Another large sector is definitely going to be the transfer of property taxes. Since we are in Santa Clara County, people are able to sell their homes in San Jose with a significant amount of equity. Let's say they bought in the 90s and they're able to transfer that property tax with rules, of course, to Morgan Hill or Gilroy. The next thing is economic development. Morgan Hill is working really hard to attract new businesses and industries. There is still a lot of land to be had in this area. We do keep the industrial area sectored to a certain part of town. Morgan Hill is still considered a bedroom community, which basically means that most people live here and commute elsewhere for jobs. We've seen some pretty significant changes and growth as far as the industrial sector goes. We have have incoming shipment and fulfillment centers. And if you do live here, you've seen the construction around town. We also are seeing a lot of growth when it comes to retail, restaurants, new construction, including apartments and single family homes. And this includes senior housing developments, affordable housing, and traditional single families. Some of the more noteworthy projects that are happening right now and in the future year are going to be the Evergreen Village community, which is located at Butterfield and Cochrane. And this is going to include lodging, retail, restaurant space, and living space. There are even talks of a Raising Cane's and a Chick-fil-A coming very soon to Morgan Hill, which I can't speak for everyone, but I am pretty darn excited for. A few larger projects downtown are going to include the Eads Gallery, which is a beautiful, sustainable art gallery that's being built right now, and Hotel Mohai, which has been currently being used for a restaurant and now changing over to what it originally was meant for. One of the largest industrial projects that are happening right now is called Cochrane Tech. It spans over 29 acres and it is in the works as we speak. Now let's talk a little bit about education. If you're considering moving to Morgan Hill, education might be one of the primary things that you're looking at when determining a neighborhood. Now we have plenty of K through 12 public schools in the community. And specifically when it comes to elementary schools, there are plenty to choose from. Morgan Hill has two strictly middle schools, which are sixth grade through eighth grade. Plus we have three additional schools that go from kindergarten to eighth grade. In addition to all of this, there are two public high schools as well. There are plenty of options for private schools if you're looking for religious or non-denominational. And there are also two dual immersion schools with the Spanish language. Matter of fact, Voices Charter School is one of the dual immersion schools, and this is actually being expanded upon right now. They are in process of developing a much larger campus spanning over two acres, and this is a K through eight school. Number four is culture and recreation. One of the things that Morgan Hill is really, really well known for is the outdoor recreation that we have here. There is an expansive trail system and park system throughout the city, and there are several parks that are being worked on this coming year. As far as public parks, one of the newest parks that we have in town is Magical Bridge. It is volunteer based and it's an incredible, huge all-inclusive park over by the Centennial Recreational Center. There are refurbishment plans right now happening 
for multiple parks throughout the city. If you're interested in more information on this, definitely check out the city website or send a comment below and I'll definitely have a conversation with you about this. There is also a lot of love for our city here in town and we have a lot of planned beautification days to take care of our community. Lastly, there's also talk of a new bike park, which hasn't been fully confirmed yet, but we're hoping that it's going to come to Morgan Hill in the next two years. Now let's talk a little bit about some attractions, festivals, and city events that we have annually. Some of the events that we have every single year include Mushroom Mardi Gras, Taste of Morgan Hill, we have a huge 4th of July party, parade, fireworks, you name it. We have a wine stroll, a beer crawl, Boots and Brews usually comes to town as well. We have weekly farmer's markets and coming actually really, really soon is going to be our seasonal sidewalk Saturdays that align with the farmer's market. There are some talks of some new events that are coming to Morgan Hill as well, but nothing's been confirmed yet, so I don't wanna get your hopes up. Before I jump into topic number five, I want to remind you that if you like this content and wanna see more just like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the little bell to notify you as I put out new videos just like this one. Now let's talk about the future plans of Morgan Hill. One of the biggest attributes of Morgan Hill is the building moratorium that it has had in place for many, many years. This restricts the overall new construction that we're seeing in town and it limits so we don't have overgrowth happening so rapidly compared to other cities. Morgan Hill is definitely still growing. However, it is growing at a slower pace than some of the communities surrounding us. Of course, the biggest concern with any growth, whether it's small or large, is how this will impact our residents and how to sustain a great thriving community as we move forward. Morgan Hill used to be a very quiet country-esque city. And while I still believe that it does have some of these attributes, there are a lot of residents that are concerned about the amount of growth that has happened over time. Matter of fact, a lot of people that have lived here for 20 plus years don't want it to become an extension of Silicon Valley, which it definitely has. The city officials need to really, really keep an eye on the overall infrastructure of our community to make sure as we grow, we continue to grow with a sustainable and thriving environment. Now, if you are concerned about this, you do live here or you plan to move here soon, I always recommend going to the city development meetings and the city hall meetings in general. This will give you a really great connection with city officials and your voice will definitely be heard. The best way to know if this is the right city for you is by coming and taking a look at it, visiting some of the places around town and getting in contact with me so I can tell you some of the highlights that you should probably check out. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, my name is Krista Nielsen with Real Broker, and I will see you soon.